हे हॅलो रोन माय नेम इज रवींद्र अँड आय वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चॅनल इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी आर सीईंग द डेटा ऑपरेशन इन द पॉवर ऑटोमेट इन अवर लास्ट सेशन वी सी द वेरेबल्स इन द पॉवर ऑटोमेट यू कॅन फाइंड दॅट व्हिडिओ इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फ्रॉम देअर यू कॅन चेक इट आउट सो लेट्स वी गो इन द बिल्ट इन ॲक्शन्स ओके सो इफ यू सी वी हॅव द डेटा ऑपरेशन दिस इज अ मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज ऑपरेशन ओके actions so first one is a compose one so we will see all of them one by one okay so let's see the first one compose one so if you see the compose action this is just a placeholder you can use add any data any type of input in the compose action like in previously if you use the variables here okay so in that variables only we can provide the data of some specific types okay like boolean array or number string but in compose you can add any data like an where keyword in the javascript that will take any type of data okay and it will change accordingly in our flow so this is the use of compose okay let's we go and you can mostly like you can also use the compose to write and power fx expressions here okay so if you see we have this tab okay expression let's i little bit zoom it down okay so you can see it here so to write an expressions as well okay like if you want to concatenate some string okay from the dynamic content okay like where name okay and my name i want to append so we can use it here okay so if you see i just write an expression here concat variable where name okay and after that my name as well after giving comma okay in the string format i can add it here okay ravi and just i click on the add here so zoom it out click on the update so you can see i just write an expression okay in the compose action you can rename this like if our flow is very large we have to write lot of expressions okay to get our correct output to get some smaller smaller chunks of output we use mostly compose operation okay so it has some of the use cases as well okay like um, like for the formatting of json for converting for the data types debugging purpose also you can use this compose action and lots more okay then let's we go for the our next action let's first i zoom this little bit so you can easily able to view this friends okay let's click on the plus icon let's go to the data operations one more time after that we have the join action okay so basically join action is used to join an array okay so if you see in our initialize variable okay we have one array variable so it is where array so let's we rename this okay where where array okay so if you i want to add this array okay in the comma separator form okay so i can use the a join operation okay so let's we go use the variable here okay so whenever you see the this form statement okay so form means you need an array element from that array element you perform some operation on that so whenever you have the form okay you have to pass an array array is always pass in the curly sorry square bracket okay and uh, in the curly brackets you pass the objects here okay so i want to join this all the things in the semicolon so let's uh, let's we run this flow and see what output we are getting let's i run this manually save and test run flow so now if you see the join output here okay so all the values are 
okay separated by using semicolon here okay and the string also it is appended in our up, above part okay so let's we go click on the edit and let's see the another action here okay so let's click on the plus let's go to the more time data operation then we have the select action okay so let's we go and use the select here okay so select action is used to filter and data mostly okay and if you want to map something okay like is from this array okay i want to map numbers okay so i will give here number okay to create the new array okay in the sense we can say number and from the dynamic thing okay like i just go to power effect and here i will use item that is looping in our loop okay and just click on the update here okay if i run this action okay manually seven test so now if you see okay in the output section now i have the body okay but also i have the format of key and object here okay so key is number okay and object is one so in the key object format i created the array now so to means what is select action select action is used to shape our array in simple words okay so if i want the same existing array how i can do that so let's i showcase you we want the same existing array then we have this option okay let's we remove this okay and we simply use here only the go to power effects and use here item item represent rows okay so you need to keep in mind so now let's test this okay and we also need to give the curly brackets here okay so it will be json so now uh, we simply map the item here let's click on the test manually run the flow click on done so friends if you see the output of the select action here so we are getting the same output here okay the as we have in our input okay only the we are getting in this object okay body inside the body we are getting the our actual array okay so now let's go click on the edit okay now let's see the another action okay in the data operations then we have the filter array okay so basic in simple words filter array is used to filter data okay so let's we go select the where array let's we select here dynamic content power fx f expression okay and click here item and just close this it should be greater than 2 okay all those elements i need only so let's we go and click on the test manually click on the test done so if you see we are getting the higher values only that is greater than the 2 so this type of filter operations you can perform okay like and or not if you want some add some additional okay so you can add some additional conditions as well here okay in the filter array let's we go and see our next action now okay so then we have the parse json act action okay so if you have a json object okay so let's i go to the gpt here okay and ask him to give me the and friends uh, this is very simple okay you just need to watch the all the series you will be pro or you have the all the understanding of power automate okay so please subscribe to the channel and uh, keep learning keep growing if you have any doubt any questions you can add this in the comment box i will there to help you out okay and watch the complete end to end series we are coming in this series with lot of examples and lot of flows okay so you will get proper idea so if you go and in this compose one okay for now 
i adding the array here okay so student information let's we rename this to the student info okay so from the student info okay i need the student id okay like what data is present in this array i don't know okay the schema i don't know if i go add here one more compose action here okay and uh, i want to from this student info i need this uh, only the student or only the names okay if i go in this compose action i will get the entire output here okay not the fields okay means columns i not able to select okay to select those columns okay or to perform that let's i go move this compose action below this and use the par json here from okay content we need to give from means always you need to pass an array here friends okay so our form is student info schema to generate the schema use here this option use sample playload to generate the schema let's use control v and just paste our schema click on the done so here our entire schema is generated friends okay in the seconds we not need to generate or we not need to do anything so if i go in the compose action okay and if i click on the dynamic content okay here you can see now from the par json i am getting all the things body name age course email item okay so these things i am getting so i need the email of the student okay so it will automatic low go inside the loop because it is in the array format so if i run this now okay and below that let's i or we can use the join action as well okay so join the array we will give here the body of par json and the item we will give here the body of name we simply just need this outside okay join with we need to give the separated comma so now let's test our flow okay click on save and test so in join action you can see friends okay in the output entire thing is appended in the semicolon okay and the slash is came with the enter so join action work in this manner now if we show in the compose okay so in the compose we have this okay this email okay and next we have the second email and so on for all the items so let's we go click on the edit and go to the next action in the data operation so i want to send this act convert this okay entire student information in the html format I, and i want to send that on the mail so how to how i can do that so first i select the array element okay and in the advanced we have the automatic okay so if we select the automatic so in that case also it will work okay and i will showcase you the data operation one more time create csv table as well because both the action is similar okay then we will select from the body of par json and here also we will select the automatic okay so now let's we test this save and test so our flows run successfully now let's we go to the html action so friends if you see we are getting the all the format in the table format here okay that's like table thread it is in row okay it is in column so all the information we are getting in the table format so let's be similar for the csv as well both action is same only it is created in the table and here it will create in the comma separated form okay so let's we use here send an email action and let's try to see on the email how it's look like so friends I just use the two actions send an email okay first one is for the html content and second one is for the csv content so let's we go and test our flow here for now manually save and test in the meantime let's have open my outlook as well so if you see friends html structure in the table format we get here if we apply the css to this html table it will look very nice and clean and for the csv okay let's say go to the csv so if you see during comma separated form we receive all the information so let's we go to power automate flow let's click on the edit one more time click on the plus icon data operations 
so we cover all the actions friends if you have any question any doubt in this please let me know in the comment box keep learning keep growing keep exploring have a nice day to you thank you